music is life. But uh, do you play often in like Eastern Europe and parts of Russia where it does? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. yes, yeah? yes. How, how do people react over there to what you have done with it? Great, people Great. go crazy. This is, this. We're lucky enough that our crowd, if, if we weren't told where you are, it could be the same crowd. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, very slight differences, but mostly very positive and very energetic, the same way you see it here and anywhere else. Do you have a loyal following? Uh, people who yes. really follow you around? Absolutely. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. have a really great following of fans. People that travel and follow us. You Everywhere, know, yeah. It's really incredible. Mm -hmm. yes. We're really thankful for that because it's like you can be you know, in America and you, you see a face and you're like, oh, I know you. And they're from like could be from anywhere, anywhere you know, Australia or something like that. And they came yeah. for the show, yeah. and it's really that's beautiful. It makes it's you like, amazing. wow, that's really great. You know? how, how close do you get with people like that? We're closer than most bands. I, I would put uh, my name on that because, you know, we collectively believe that we do this for people. Yeah. And and when people give us that kind of respect, we always give back, and that could be bringing them into the, you know, mm -hmm. into our collective and jam with us and hang with us or going to wherever they are. We do after parties usually just for that purpose, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can mingle and meet the fans. Do you ever get tired of being the center of attention in, in that way? Could you please turn this around? <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Spotlight. <laughs> Spotlight, please. <laughs> you know, do you? In what, in what way? But perhaps it can be a bit frightening or something, that, that it's always about you and people kind of maybe wor worship you or something. I don't know if that's the case. Uh, try not to think about that, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I try not to think about that. Because I would, I would hope that everybody... We're all the same. And the thing is, with the fans, what's really great that I appreciate, when we're performing live, is we're performing, but we we give our energy, and the audience gives us energy back. So it's this cycle. It's this really beautiful yeah. cycle. So we're we're all in it together. You know, we're not any different from anybody else, and that's a really important thing. Yeah, I mean, know? it comes to the job that you're on stage, and thousands of people are looking yeah. at you. That and that's the nature of this shit. Yeah. But outside of that, like I said, we go mingle with the fans, mm -hmm. and by doing that, it's really saying we're exactly like you. And we appreciate the fact that you paid money to come exactly, see us. Exactly. And you gave us all this energy. And it's a yeah. beautiful life that we have. So that still goes on. But the fact that we are on stage all the time, I love playing music, so I, I don't have any issues. Do you also that. love traveling? Because it can be quite hard. To yes. Like, I've always right. loved traveling. And I think like that's the reason why we do it. Yeah, you know? I've been traveling since I was a child. Yeah. What is it about, about traveling and touring you like so much? I love it because I, I personally want to live a life where I'm constantly learning new things, you know, and this is the perfect way to do it. You know, you meet new people, you, you're going and uh, experiencing new cultures, and this is how you develop more within yourself. And it's great. It's really, really great. I don't think you can be in this business without loving traveling. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then you're really going to have a hard time at some point, mm -hmm. you know. You have to really embrace it. This is our life. But do you uh, really find time while, while traveling to get out? Because often you're here, like in a backstage area, right. or you're in a, in a hotel. Or you have to find time. You have, yeah, to, you you have, have to, to find you, time. You have to work hard to, to uh, I mean, get out. Some places we've been, let's say we go to a certain city and we play probably the same venue, and we usually are stuck there. But after being there two or three times, you get your little areas figured out. So first, like I know this place already, maybe not the whole city. So I can, I, oh, that Chinese restaurant around the corner, that Italian place, wow. a coffee shop. So it becomes a place that you've been already, although it's within the four or five blocks. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's also a reason to keep traveling too. And the great part is, yeah. and some cities are connected to you for some reason, you want to go back and visit them in the vacation time. Mm -hmm. So there's that too. And you learn from all these things. Um, um, I want to ask last, one last question. Um, you, you talked about getting something back from the audience, this, this thing that where energy is, is going on. Uh, is that something you think is exclusive for, for playing live music? Or could it also be 
like when when an artist paints and paints a picture, he can't get that energy directly back he's putting into it. So it, th do you think that's just for music? Well, uh, well, uh, the way I think, energy is always there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a science. Energy is neither gained or lost. It's, that's the physics term, I guess. It's around. It's around. It exists. And and for me, being a musician, it's so easy to see energy with you, even though right. we're not playing music. Because I know what that is already. I have a hardcore evidence. Every day I'm on stage, I get that in massive doses. So for me to explain that, it's not like some uh, metaphysics or some uh, new age uh, idea. It's just a real thing. So yeah, when I go around, I meet you as a person, and I can tell right away what kind of energy we have. Right. And so it's easy for me. <clears throat> Music makes it easier, you know? It's everywhere, everywhere around us. It's just, I think, as musicians, you uh, get a little bit more of hardcore evidence mm -hmm. yeah. daily, so it's easier to understand that. Is idea. music some sort of belief in that sense? Also, no, belief is so small, dude. Music is life. Music is the miracle. And when we understand that, and we all do okay, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes it gets lost in translation. But uh, you know, a simple melody can make you cry or laugh. No words in any culture. Uh, so. Uh, it's, it has to be understood as a much bigger thing. It's like something that you always try to get to and just keep further in your understanding of what it is. For me, it's like that. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.